everyone, this is Goofy Gamer, aka Mr. Money, and I am with a mono black splash blue control type deck. Good luck, have fun. I see a gray merchant. This is probably this is probably a keep. If I get any two drops, it'll be two or three drops, it'll be pretty darn good. So yeah, keep. And Senior will go first. No green one drop. So as long as we can play something by turn three we can read the bones on turn four and not have to worry about anything being discarded So yeah, slow rolling. Oh man, was that lucky or what? Eh, I mean that's all he had to do. Nessian Courser. A little easier to deal with. So, we could read the bones, or um, I feel like uh, Epros is emissary. Uh, at least tests his waters. If he attacks into it, he's probably got a good trick. Or a series of tricks. But if he plays one more card, I can play Disciple of Phoenix next turn. And see what he's got. So we are at six mana. Now Let's see what he's got. Savage Surge, Shredding Winds, Leaf Crown Dryad. Uh, we'll take a Savage Surge. So he could go all in on Anthusa.
So, we still know the exact cards that he has in his hand. Shredding Winds and Leaf Crown Dryad. Now his best bet would to be would be to put Nylea's emissary uh, put the Leaf Crown Dryad on Nylea's emissary or the Nessian Corsair, excuse me. And then attack in with both, and then that would be able to be nine damage. Yeah. He wants to sacrifice some lands, I guess. So I would have to pitch both creatures to Eberos's emissary. Not sure why he didn't attack with Anthusa. So pretty much don't want to lose any devotion let's see what we can draw into oh, griptide's pretty neat um we'll play it defensively. We're not really in the uh, aggressive position. So grip tight on back up and Cutthroat Maneuver. Now, Cutthroat Maneuver wouldn't really do too much, but... He still just has the Shredding Winds. I'll be able to recoup the um, Recoup the life with life link. And now I could drop the Overlord. But he does have the Shredding Winds, so having the most 
devotion on the field. Sounds a little bit better. And if we get another mana, we can read the bones and Griptide, actually. So he has the Shredding Winds. Hopefully he can tap out for something good this turn. He might have the Polis Crusher. I guess that's what's happening. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what's happening. So we shouldn't really attack with his lands, because I can eat both of them. So we might only attack with Anthusa. Yeah. Now I can deal with Anthusa. Siren's good. And Siren allows me to do Read the Bones and Griptide. And it'll draw out the Shredding Winds. So, um, I think that's what we do. So let's see if he wants to do anything fancy with uh, Anthusa here. And if it's an instant, more than likely he'll use it. Uh, in response to the Griptide. But I should definitely wait because I'll save two damage. Yeah, if I do it now because the Leaf Crown Dryad won't be able to attack. So we know what he's drawing next turn. Asphyxiate. Uh, that sounds really good for next turn. We just got the right order. The right cards in the right order. And they'll be able to let this four slide through. Uh, there's really no telling what he could have drawn. Maybe it's a land. And maybe he didn't think that there was a way out of it. So we will go to the sideboard. Uh, yeah, Fairy Span, Tromper. Don't really have a way to deal with that. Uh, did have Fall of the Hammer, though. And Benthic Giant would be immune to that. No, he didn't really show me in the much way of 
real weak creatures that I gouge would work on. I'm not really the aggressor. Um, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 14 creatures, 9 spells. Well, we'll see you guys for round 1, game 2 here in just a minute. Thanks for watching.